Hey guys, thanks for joining me for Wow Me Wednesday. As a presenter, what would you say is your first impression on your audience? No, it's not the first five seconds of your actual presentation. It's your introduction bio. This introduction bio could be about a paragraph or two that's written in the program or written on a flyer to tease the audience members of what's to come. This introduction bio is so important because this is what is going to draw people in to you. Thank you, Antoine, for tuning in. I, today I wanna to give you some tips on what to include in your introduction bio so that it is enticing for your audience and doesn't give too much away. How many of you have been in those presentations where the intro bio is five paragraphs long and it's like a resume where it rattles off all the person's credentials, where they went to school, the books they've written, etc. We don't need to know all of that. Maybe if it's written in the program, but not necessarily to use to introduce you right before your presentation. So here's what a good introduction bio before your presentation that the coordinator, whoever it is, the president of the organization, whoever it is that's introducing you should include in the, your bio that you should provide for them. And I'm going to break this video up into two parts so it's not too long and I'm not inundating you. So the first couple things I want you to think about when it comes to writing your introduction bio for the person introducing you to say verbally is to I'm gonna compare it to when I was a news reporter. I would write an introduction that would tease and hint at what my story is about without giving it away. And it was for the anchor to read, to then toss to me as the reporter out in the field. And that would be my responsibility to write, just like it's your responsibility to write and to provide as the presenter. You know yourself and your story best. So in this introduction bio, you want to include a sentence about your experience, obviously to give you some credibility, but also you want to include the problem you're going to solve for your audience members. Hi, Gabrielle, thank you for watching. So in the first sentence, you can share about how many years experience you have doing what you do, some of the people you've worked with, and then the second sentence, really, really important, is to share about what it is you believe and your why you do what you do. Similar to an elevator pitch, you'll find definite correlations there, where, as I always say, you wanna tell people, share with people, how you help them solve their problem and how you're gonna make them feel after working with you. So take this as an example. Here's my bio that I reworked after thinking about it more and trying to make it more enticing and more intentional. So this is the first couple of sentences. Jessica Chang Irish is an Emmy award winning news reporter turned marketing specialist who works with professionals to develop confidence in their public and on camera speaking skills. After close to two decades of experience building connections with audiences through storytelling and curated messages, Jessica believes that with the right strategies and preparation, anyone can shine in the spotlight and rise in their career. So there's two sentences right there. Hopefully it relates to the audience. It captures the attention of my target audience. And after that, you can share a little bit more about your background. So that's what I'll share in part two of the introduction bio video series for Wow Me Wednesday is what to put in next to then lead to the, and now presenting Jessica Chang Irish. Let's welcome her to the stage. So I hope that was helpful for you all tonight. Thank you for your comments. Gabrielle saying, <laughs> love seeing the Emmys in the background. Thank you, yes, this is my new setup here in my office slash studio. So I hope you all enjoy it and find it more professional than my kitchen in the background or my makeshift 
guest room studio. So have a great rest of your week, everyone, and I will see you next time for Wow Me Wednesday.